What's up, you guys? Sim Wolf Hero here today, and I'm here with another video, guys, for you back on the channel TS today. And I'm here with um another video for you. Today is the second part of the Starfall Mansion build. Yes, this is one of not possibly, probably one of my favorite builds so far. This is one of the longer builds. I actually haven't done a long build since about Sims 3. If you guys were here on the channel back then. Uh, I started doing um a little series for uh, I believe it was a, gonna be a huge university loft obviously you guys can go ahead and check that out on, on the channel um, it's somewhere on the channel it's probably one of the older videos but anyways um we are back on the channel again finally I'm sorry that I took about two weeks off there um, I was having a, a couple issues with my computer um, apparently it run out of memory the, the computer that I have is you know kind of old. <laughs> but you know it still suits me for everyday things that I need to get done including this video so I'm very happy that even though the computer is old the YouTube game is still strong within me yes <laughs> anyways um, yeah so we're here with the second part of the Starfall mansion uh, Starfall modern mansion I believe this is the second part I will go ahead and uh, put something either in the description or I will do like some sort of card if I can, um, letting you guys know where you guys can go ahead and see the second part of this, uh, the first part of this build, I should say. I'm sorry. Um, this actual build is going to be broken up at least into another part, if not another two more parts. Um, basically, I was planning on finishing this build in this video but uh it turned out to be way too long so i did go ahead and just leave it off at where i did uh, pretty much the only things that we get done today is pretty much kind of sectioning off the house a bit and essentially just getting everything ready for the next part which will be the actual uh, furnishing portion of the actual house. Uh, obviously, most of the downstairs bit is pretty much done. I wanted to do this cool thing um, that I saw posted on a couple different places where we have this big open area right in the middle of the house. So it looks like you have two separate parts of the house. Um, and then you have the huge part on top of the house. It looks really interesting. I really wouldn't call it a cantilever house because it really isn't, but it is kind of portioned off that way. Um, so I'm very, very happy the way that this house turned out uh, so far. Uh, literally the only things that got done in this house were pretty much just sectioning everything off. A lot of the actual gardening stuff the actual landscaping did get done in the house so i'm very very happy about that 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 part is done as you guys know my um landscaping skills aren't as good as i want them to be but i got through it with amazing colors um one thing that i will mention about this build now into the coming build um in the next video um the only difference is that um when I finish building the, this portion of the house and that you'll see in this video, um, my game got corrupted somehow and it would not allow me to save. So I literally got done with everything. I finished recording. Um, I was about to save my game. I needed to do something in the, in the gallery or something. I think I just saved a lot or something. Um, and apparently the game did not like it and uh all my work went down the drain so literally from the start of what you saw in this video i had to start completely off from there again um pretty much everything in this house is the exact same as you'll see in the next video later on the only slight difference would have to be some of the actual landscaping a little bit of the landscaping is different but that's to be uh, expected uh, for the most part the rest of the house looks just the same uh, with all the the same bits and pieces in it so yeah generally it's pretty much okay now with the plan with this house I kind of wanted to go for one of those homes where you would expect to see a lot of the actual house but at the same time it's almost kind of like one of those modern homes that you see before you buy. Like um, you would go into the home 
and you would see all this furniture that has just been there for like a, a show floor or something like that essentially that's kind of what i did in this build um i kind of want to keep it as simple and as clean and as modern as possible so that's what i did with this build so that's kind of why i did that whole section off bit uh between the the front of the house uh the entrance area of the house um and then the other side of the house which will actually be the kitchen slash dining room um and i did make it big on purpose because i do want the kitchen to actually be pretty uh, substantial along with the dining room i kind of want to have it to that grandiose kind of feel um to it um now with this home i do i did not actually do any of the wall coverings of any of the wallpapers or anything like that in this video that will get done in the next video but i do plan on it for being kind of that almost modern kind of white color it's just like a plain white color uh everything to be detailed uh every every color should come from an object at least that's what i'm hoping for but anyways you guys can let me know in the comment section whether or not you want to do that as i have not started on that side of the build yet but for the most part everything in this house um was stayed the same for the most part um we did go ahead and add a couple things around the areas which we will get to as they pop by i did a lot of windows in this build it could, pretty much almost every every side of this home has windows on it um which i don't know i kind of like that look um the only interesting part that i had to kind of do was with the bathroom um i really didn't know how to do it on this build without having any windows but then i saw that we had a lot of windows that actually kind of had coverings on them without me having to actually use curtains i really don't like curtains guys i'm very sorry but i don't like curtains um i might end up using a bit of curtains just because there are a little windows and a lot of windows in this build but we will go ahead and see um yeah we'll just go ahead and see <laughs> um right now as i said we're just kind of pushing and pulling the house in little areas just to kind of give some sort of dimension to the house a little bit at least you know um because before i did all this the house kind of looked a little bit square still so i just did go ahead and push and pull some of the the actual um walls in and it looks better this way i do believe so And as I said, uh, just pushing and pulling some of those windows into place makes this build look that much better, at least in my own opinion. Um, going over here, adding more windows, more windows all over the place. This, I wanted this home to be essentially lit completely by natural lighting. Obviously, that's a big thing that people like to talk about is natural lighting, natural lighting. Uh, but I did go ahead and try and go the whole natural lighting route. Um, I think it turned out okay for the most part. I mean, this house so far has um, two um, upstairs decks in place. One of them will be for one room and then the other one will be for the other room. I do plan on making this kind of a more of a style, kind of like of a bachelor home, but to where there's an extra room where you can either have a guest stay or if you do end up using it as a family home that you can go ahead and use it as a child's room i have not decided which i would like to do however but we can go ahead and decide that later on or i'll decide that later on how about that um so we do go ahead and do that as i said i kind of wanted all the windows to be symmetrical so that's kind of why you see that some of the windows are two uh two block wide windows and some of those are just one wide um that was intentional so you know that that's that's kind of one of those things that i did go ahead and decide as you can see me putting more windows this house was just immaculately full of windows i swear um to be honest my favorite part of building this part of the house was the actual um landscaping it was really really fun to do i'm as i said i'm not really um completely confident in my landscaping skills but doing the landscaping for this build was very fun i really enjoyed it just thinking of how some of the places some of the pieces were placed i actually got to use the llama hedges for once and i'm very happy that i got to use those because i've been meaning to use those uh, a lot of fountains um let's see what else some of the fountains were used in here which made it look really nice 
Uh, I actually made some of the fountains too, which was also very nice and it looks really cool in game. Um, we did uh, have a little outside movie theater, which looks nice, at least I think so. I might change it up a little bit in the next video, but we'll see how that turns out. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I'm really, really liking this build. I will definitely be using this as one of my homes, probably adding some more things later on if I want to. But for the most part, I really, really like how it turns out. As you can see here, I'm kind of adding some of these um, uh, walls going towards the outside, just kind of to give one, to kind of give dimension to the actual house, and number two, to actually have a place where you can exit besides the the back of the house if, you know if you're at the bathroom you can go ahead and exit just right there or if you're in the other side of the house in the kitchen area you can go ahead and exit right there um but for the most part i'm very very much enjoying how this house turned out to be um the outside area had uh, a lot of chairs a lot of lot of chairs um uh, some more uh, area where we actually have a fire pit and uh, that's about it to be honest. Uh, I mean, it was a very very substantial um, Chunk of time. I believe it took me about I want to say about an hour and a half worth of work and I believe this video is speed up sped up three times if not about maybe two hours of work and uh, The video was sped up about three and a half times for you guys to be able to see uh, So yeah, pretty substantial amount of work went to this um there was uh, little bits and changes that I did do to the actual roofing and um, some more walkways and stuff like that that were here as well. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, some of the things that you see in this video might not have gone over to the completed build just because my file was corrupted. So a couple things don't look the same as they do here and I do apologize for that. Um, I'm looking over the footage right now and it looks like a couple things did not make it um, but if you guys see something you like in in this video and in the next video you don't see it uh, you guys can let me know um, and I will go ahead and try and make those changes if I decide that they look better how they work <laughs> as I said just doing a couple more flowers around here uh, this area I know right here is not the same at all like I know 100% for sure that it's not the same but it was uh, some good practice which I did enjoy um, and overall it looks pretty good I actually got a comment in, on the last video um, stating a little bit more about the flowers in the Sims 4 that some of them probably wouldn't survive if they were bunched up together like this but you know obviously um, that is very true a lot of the flowers probably wouldn't survive because some of these are pre-annuals, annuals, and, and biannuals, stuff like that. And a lot of these flowers are in different areas of the world, and obviously they probably wouldn't survive in this uh, in this area of the Sims world, you know, unless Sims is just like a weird climatized zone where all the flowers work, all the flowers. Which, in this case, we have alien flowers in the Sims for, which I'm pretty sure that's not possible. So, you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe it will work, maybe it won't, who knows? Um, but I was very happy that I got a little bit more comments from the last video. I'm very happy about that. Uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy the video so far. A lot of people seem to enjoy the last couple videos too. So, uh, and anyone who came over from um, Simproof's channel, thank you so much guys for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, as you see here, just uh, doing a little bit of a flyby up top, we're gonna go ahead and get started in some of the other areas. I'm jumping back and forth a lot. So we go ahead and add a hot tub in here. Um, it, uh, I, I was just very nice. I just planned a, a, a little bit of the portions out of this before I recorded it. Um, just because there was a couple things that I just kind of wanted to get right and make sure it looks nice and symmetrical. I'm very picky about symmetry and stuff when it comes to things like that. I know that, you know, people might not like it, but, uh, you know, I like symmetry. Uh, as you see here, I did go ahead and add the uh, fire pit. The fire pit is actually a 5x5, five five, so that was messing with me a little bit because I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't place it perfectly in the middle because uh, I can't place it perfectly on the sides of the actual uh, ring that I built around it because, uh, 
it's gonna be off by a little bit uh, so I decided just to put it in the middle and just leave it like that at six by five I believe and it doesn't look too bad I don't mind it too much I'm just putting some color around the places one thing that I did notice in this um, in this video that I did not put in which I will put in because I liked how it looked um, will be showing up later on and I'll give you guys a uh, kind of a reason why when that shows up as you can see we added kind of this little um oh what do you want to call it I kind of added like this little walkway uh, now I in the Sims 3 there was um, the constraint floor elevation tool that you could actually use to make something like this where you had almost kind of like a little bridge but you also had uh, an, the ability to place foundations and actually make a bridge which actually did go over water now unfortunately we don't have the capability to do something like that in the sims 4 so i kind of did the next best thing which would be kind of just cut out some fountains around this little walkway that leads from the actual dj area into the actual uh, fire pit and i just placed uh what you see here the actual um fountains in between the the little walkway and it looks really cool it looks you know it's as close as we're gonna get i added some of those black borders around it so it looks like it's you know above water so i, I did that i was playing around with some of those water emitters too to kind of shoot over the actual walkway but it wasn't going to work as well i also tried doing the star formation for for that but it wasn't going to work either because uh uh, it was gonna be placed directly on that walkway and I dan didn't really like how that looked. Um, but in the end, I did go ahead and add a couple of dancing water emitters around the place and it looks really nice. I have played this a uh, little bit in game just to test it out beforehand, uh, before continuing with anything else. And it looks really nice, everything works so far so good. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kinda like how this, this looks. There's a couple things that I probably will change, especially with that fountain, a couple of items that I did not place, uh, but I will get that fixed for the next video, I hope. And as you can see here, if if the video has not had any issues while I'm watching it, then we should be at the same portion, you and me. Um, we're adding kind of this thing around the, the actual fire pit. I did want to go ahead and place these beams, um, but, they didn't quite look right when I placed them there. Um, as you can see, um, they look okay. It kind of looks like a big canopy. If you added something on top, maybe like a, uh, a roof or something, it would probably work as a canopy, canopy really, really well. But I did not want to go for something like that. So I decided against it. And what I did end up going with was actually the, um, the waterfalls again. Now, as I stated, um, this is actually the things that I did not add into uh, the, la the last part of the video, um, but they will get added because it is something that I really do like. It looks really, really cool. So I did, I will go ahead and add that in for the next video. Um, but yeah, so looks really nice. So I did onset those inside just to kind of give it that cool look, almost kind of to where that little bit um, of the fountain comes off it looks almost kind of like you could sit there and now that I think of it I could probably add um, some ottomans on there so you can actually sit by the water which I'm thinking I would I'm actually gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, make myself a note um, future me uh, make sure to do that idea that I just said thank you so much I appreciate it <laughs> anyways um, as I said we did go ahead and add another um, kind of area over here uh, I really wasn't too sure what I wanted to put over here because I wanted to use as much of the actual extra space that uh, I could uh, the only problem with that was that um, I just didn't know what to make so I, I went back, I saw some of the videos that I had, and uh, I remember just making the, the video with Simprove that, that I really, really loved that movie area that I made. So I did go ahead and remake that into this area. Um, 
and it looks just as nice i believe so the, i might change a few things around with the fencing later on um if you guys don't like the fencing or if you guys suggest something so if you have any suggestions for this build please by all means go ahead and leave me a comment in the section below um just letting me know some of your ideas i love hearing from you guys i really do um, the next video for this uh, build will not be out for probably at least another week or so. Um, there will be some more videos in between that time, uh, including other videos that I still have yet to announce. Uh, some more Sims 4 uh, building videos, obviously, a couple of rooms I believe I have in the works. So that will get done. Uh, but the next video for this actual um, build... Uh, won't be out for a, at least another week or so so definitely if you guys have any comments any suggestions about this build please let me know i love hearing from you guys i love hearing your guys' ideas because a lot of your ideas are really cool and i never really would have thought of it um i had this idea about these chairs now um in most resorts i believe they have these kind of long deck chairs i know when i used to live in california uh, we used to live in a small apartment when I was a kid and um, in the pool they actually had those chairs where you know you would sit back obviously I haven't lived in California for a good amount of time now but um, I know that those still exist probably but I wanted to make mine a bit fancier so I added those uh, sofa chairs with the actual sides on it and I did go ahead and just add an ottoman intersecting intersecting it so it kind of looks like one of those long chairs that you can actually lay on which is really really cool i very much enjoy the look of it i did go ahead and add two chairs and uh, the ottomans underneath this sunlit area over here and i do believe it looks very very cool the way it turned out and again i do go ahead and go into the nighttime view in just a moment here just because i wanted to check and see how it was gonna look at night over here i do believe i used some of those lighting fixtures from uh, the spa day pack yep and i do go ahead and add those in there it kind of gives off this kind of most almost uh mo like i said modern is the key word here guys uh that modern feel to it, it looks very very cool and i very much enjoyed it <laughs> Uh, a couple of those saucer lights around the place. I added a bunch of those everywhere just to kind of give um, give off that kind of light. I do add another chair in there just because uh, three chairs was bugging the crap out of me. So I did go ahead and add that in there. A lot of lights around the bar area and I believe I might have added one underneath the actual, um, the actual hot tub. I was playing around with the idea of a fountain, but I really wasn't sure where. I wasn't. I was also not even sure what I was gonna do with that area right off to the left of the uh, actual um, bar. So later on, you will go ahead and see what I do go ahead and put in there. As I said, I jump around a lot in this video um, between actually furnishing and doing some more landscaping. Uh, most of the furnishing for the outside is done by now, but by, I, as I said again, guys, I want your feedback. I want your feedback from you. So if you have something that you would like to add, if you think that something is you know better this way or I might have done something better that you noted in the video that maybe I don't, let me know. In, please, please let me know by all means in the comment section if there's something that you want me to go ahead and add in there. Maybe there's just something that it was in the gallery and I didn't uh, look. Uh, as I said, I did have a, a sim actually in here while I was building it just because I wanted to walk him around once in a while and actually test it. So if there's an if there, I believe that there's a couple jumps in the video. And if you see those jumps in the video, that's either me stopping and correcting something or me having the sim and um, actually seeing if something's working or not. So that's why I go ahead and do that. And as I said, I believe we're getting close to the end of the video. There was a couple pieces of the video that did not make it. Uh, some of the other landscaping bits, I believe, did not make it just because um, my computer was having issues recognizing some of the files, unfortunately. <laughs> it, it's been very, very tough with my computer lately. Um, the I saved a couple things the computer did not recognize the the actual game being saved or something and um my computer was uh, just not working 
shout out to the sim supplier that uh, had a little cheeky little surprise entrance in that video right there yeah whatever james um <laughs> i love the sim supplier um and uh, as I said, the, the computer was having a, just a bit of a glitchy time. And unfortunately, I guess my computer either has been acting up or apparently said it ran out of memory. So I had to go out and buy a new external hard drive to save most of my videos. And I'm very, very happy that I bought that. It was a great investment. And uh, obviously, since I bought that, the, yeah, I'm going to continue with this as long as possible. So believe me, that's not going to change. As you see here, I am working in this little area off to the left of the garden, uh, off to the left of the garden, off to the left of the actual bar. Um, as you can see that I added those trellises, I believe they're called trellises, right on top of the actual bar and the actual uh, jacuzzi. It looks really cool like that. I very much enjoyed adding that on there. And again, uh, we're over here in this fountain area that's right off of the left side of the bathroom. Um, and I added a lot of gardening around here. It looks very cool. Uh, again, as I stated, uh, the landscaping did change quite a bit from this video to the actual other portion of the, of the uh, build. So some of these might not be the same. Some might be different. Um, most of the actual build portion of this is the same. Just the landscaping is just slightly off. Um, and there, I believe I might have added a couple things here and there. Uh, the llama makes his appearance there. As I said, the llama will be used a lot in this build. I don't know why. I just enjoyed having the llama uh, in there. Good amounts of rocks in here in all this area. Uh, again, a lot of landscaping in this. So, yeah. I don't know. It was it was very nice, and I and I hope I hope I hope you enjoy it. I really do. <laughs> Just uh, kind of testing around the color, seeing what I actually kind of wanted to do before I go off and do anything else. I did go ahead and mark off the actual fountain area here with some of those really small fence pieces that you can walk over. So I did go ahead and enjoy that. On this left side of the house, uh, we add some of those uh, thin cypress trees, I believe is what we add in here. At least what I believe what they're called once we get the mouse over on it. Uh, yep, uh, I believe it's like a standard type of street or something like that. Um, I was gonna add one to every other, but it, it looked way too crowded. Um, I kind of wanted to have that almost kind of um, Beverly Hills-esque kind of feel to it where the house is there, it's gated for the most part, but it's sort of exposed and um, obviously the house you can walk right up to it it's not completely gated but the trees kind of add the illusion of um, privacy on there and that's kind of what I wanted especially since there's a ton of windows in this house so that's kind of why I did it the way that I did um, but it looks very very nice and I quite enjoy it and I'm very excited to get to the next portion of the actual build because that's when I'm going to go ahead and do the kitchen and the lower levels and then the upper levels. And I'm very excited um, just to kind of see what I'm going to do because I know that this is not going to be kind of the, the regular thing for me. There's going to be, obviously, there's going to be uh, some things that will be changed here and there. Um, but yeah, I do enjoy that. We're getting close to the end of the video, so I do want to go ahead and mention you guys. As I said, you guys can go ahead and leave a comment in the section below letting me know what you liked, what you disliked, uh, what you would prefer have on here because I, I want you to get involved. I want you personally to go ahead and get involved with this build and let me know if you think that there's anything that I can change or improve upon. Um, the criticism is always nice, just, you know, you know, be, be good about your criticisms. That's all the only thing I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, it was a very nice build that I, that I made. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and also shout out to me for that new intro video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was, um, that was just something that I did out of, um, uh, <laughs> I could, I could say it was completely out of just sheer boredom. I just didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew that I, I wanted to add something to the actual uh, build. I just wasn't really sure what. 
um, because I've seen a lot of channels have those um, beginning videos and I wanted to have something like that so again shout out to me it turned out really really nice I hope you guys enjoy it let me know what you guys think about the the entrance music and the entrance video to the actual builds those are gonna be on pretty much almost every single build from now on um, and yeah, I don't know. I, I quite enjoyed it and it looks very nice and I enjoy the music. And I have a dog upstairs that is barking like crazy. I hope you guys can't hear that. Yeah, I think you guys can hear bit, bits and portions. <laughs> At least the video is about that. Oh God. Uh, if anyone ever said that this video is professional, it's not. <laughs> Uh, as I said, we're getting close to the end of the video. We're just doing just this little landscaping on the side here uh, I do have a couple more ideas of other videos yet to come So I'm really excited for you guys to see what I have cooking including a couple of clubs Ooh, and I'm talking about the clubs that you can do for get-together. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video I'll see you guys in the next one